Hi y'all, I'm Meredith. And I'm Matt. And we're two of the recent graduates of the Pulmonary and Critical Care Program from Emory. And today we're gonna to be talking to you about the clinical educator track. When I was looking for fellowships, I already knew I was interested in medical education. So I searched for clinical educator tracks and Emory was one of the only fellowships that had a specific pathway for it. So that's what really drew me here. In most of the programs, you're gonna end up doing one year of clinical training, which is usually your first year. And then uh, most of the programs will make you do two years of research, whether that's clinical-based research or bench-based research. And so the nice thing about Emory is that it gives you the option of doing a more clinical-based um, three years, where you still do the same first year, but the next two is predominantly clinical, and it narrows it down into a track or a focus that you're interested in. So um, the way we do it in our program is first year is really clinical. We're working in a lot of ICUs as you would expect, um, but we get our first introduction to education in February when the uh, MS1 pulmonary block is. Um, so we get to help as sort of like TAs. We run small groups and we help um, the physical exam rounds. Uh, we supervise those and that's something I think we both really enjoyed. And we knew um, from then on that we wanted to get involved with the medical school. Yeah, part of the beauty of the clinical educator track is it really dovetails right into medical education. So for anyone coming in who's really interested in focusing in med ed, um, this is a really nice way of getting involved in that during your fellowship. Um, the pulmonary and critical care fellowship in particular has a really big presence within the medical school. And so we end up uh, running the medical school pulmonary module and the fellows who are in the clinical track kind of get priority in helping out with that course, which is really, really fun and, and really, really nice. Yeah, and so like Matt said, you sort of start running it as a second year fellow, you're actually a TA. Um, and so like he was saying earlier, some programs, um, including ours with research, you'll maybe do 18 months clinical then 18 months research. In the clinical educator track, we get six months total research, two of which is education only, which is awesome. And those are the Februarys of second and third year. So you sort of serve as like a TA, um, you learn how to make test questions, how to develop curriculum. And then your third year, um, you get even more involved um, giving lectures and uh, running all of the small groups and things like that. So it's a good way to not just get involved kind of in the sidelines of teaching, like we have been, you know, on rounds and stuff in residency, but to actually get involved in sort of developing some of the meat of the curriculum and understanding how things work at a higher level. And you will still have time uh, during your three years to actually do some research. It won't be the same as the uh, fellows who go into the research-based track, um, but you still have four months of dedicated research time. And for, at least for us, that was enough to get you know a fair bit done. We presented at pretty much chess and ATS all three years. Um, and we also had publications outside of uh, those programs. And if you are interested in research in med ed, um, which is kind of a subset of medical education, we do have attendings who um, are interested, especially with the sim lab. Um, and we did a project together where we looked at teaching medical students uh, central line techniques, and that was able to be presented at CHESS. So there's just a ton of opportunity here, um, a ton of mentorship, um, our prior program director is now going to be the director of the preclinical years for the medical students. So there's basically a pipeline to become a medical educator here that I just didn't see in a lot of other programs. And really that's what drew me here. And I'm so happy because I feel like I'm coming out of this program completely prepared to sort of take on a medical education role. Yeah. And the other nice thing about the clinical educator track too, is that it's not just focused in med ed. Um, you're last two years of fellowship are going to be tailored to your specific interest and it's totally fine if you don't know what your area of interest or niche is going to be coming into fellowship we both had thoughts about it but ended up changing while we were in fellowship um, but towards the end of my first year i kind of knew that i was interested in interventional and so my next two years of fellowship my last two years ended up being tailored um, towards a focus on interventional pulmonary and so the rotations that i was doing clinically had a had a slant towards uh, interventional. Yeah, and there's going to be a whole separate video about the master clinician track, um, 
but same for me um, I'm a sleep fellow now and my um, schedule was basically tailored where I did um, more sleep medicine um, and rotations that would sort of help set me up for success in that field so basically all in all um, we just wanted to give you some information about what the clinical educator track means to us. Um, in summary, just a ton of opportunity to work with medical students, residents, um, and now that we're actually graduated, work with the fellows, um, as well as have time for other sort of research projects um, and just a ton of clinical training. Um, so we loved our track, we're so happy. Um, hands down, we would do it again. Definitely. For sure. Yeah. Um, and yeah. We hope you come here. Yep. Bye. Bye.